Hey guys, welcome back to C Box Tutorial Channel, and this is our situation number 32 for C Board Exam November 2017 for Structural Engineering and Construction. The cylinder in the figure shown are piled in a rectangular pitch. Radius of cylinders A, B, and C are 4 meters, 6 meters, and 5 meters respectively. Neglect friction. Okay. So, dito, ano, um, actually, this is almost the same sa ating situation number 21. Nung May 2017 na tayo. <laughs> Nakalimutan na ako nung, ano, year. But anyway, um, halos pares lang sila. Kaso, ang pinagkaiba lang to is, magkakaiba yung diameter ng ating cylinder. Kaya, nagpasya pa rin kami na isama siya sa, ano, sa ating discussion ng structural engineering and construction. So, dito, medyo, ano siya, uh, medyo tricky lang siya ng konti. Pero, ang kailangan natin gawin dito is kunin yung ano, mga angle nila gamit yung mga diameter. Okay? So, remember, ang ating cylinder C is 5 meters, no? Okay, yung, wait lang. Ah, radius. Radius pala. Okay? So, this is 5 meters. Tapos, yung ating, ano, B naman is 6 meters. Tapos, yung ating A is 4 meters. So, ibig sabihin, makakagawa tayo ng triangle between C and B. Yan. Na kung saan, ang kanyang hypotenuse is pinagsamang 5 and 6. Hindi ba? So, gawin na natin itong ano, um, 11 na lang. So, 5 plus 6 is 11 meters. So, kailangan natin kunin ito. So, ano to? Eh, meron naman tayong given dito na ano, na base ng ating rectangular pitch. So, this is 18. So, if, so, kung 18 to, para makuha to, that is equivalent to 18 minus 5 plus 6. Di ba? So, uh, 18 minus 11. Di ba? So, this is 7 meters. Kaya makukuha natin itong dalawang angle na to. Hindi ba? So, sabihin natin, sige, calculate na lang, directa. So, if this is hypotenuse, ito naman is adjacent, no? So, that is cosine. Then, ang adjacent natin is 7, then hypotenuse natin is 11, no? So, uh, part cosine of adjacent over hypotenuse. So, this is 50.48. 50.48. Tapos ito naman is uh, 90 minus the answer. So, 39.52. Yan. And syempre, makakagawa rin tayo ng triangle between A and B. Na kung saan ang root ano niya, hypotenuse is pinagsamang 4 and 6. So, that is 10. Tapos, ang kanyang base is 18 minus 6 and 4. So, this is ano, 18 minus ano, uh, 10. So, this is 8. Kaya, ang angle niya is arc cosine of 8 over 10. So, 36.87. Ito naman is 90 minus the answer. 53.13 okay. So, makukuha na natin yung mga required sa ating uh, questions 1, 2, 3 So, for number 1 Which of the following gives the reaction between A and B? Okay, mula raw dito sa point na to Pero bago yun, kailangan mo natin makuha yung reaction dito Then, ipapasa natin dito Then, punta na tayo sa B So, kailangan mo natin magpunta sa cylinder C Ah, yes. Meron tayong, ano, uh, given na weight na hindi natin nailagay sa problem. Okay, so, ito yung mga, ano, weight. Hindi lang natin siya na, ano, na ilagay. So, ang weight nito is 20 kN. Ito naman is 40 kN. Then, ito is 15 kN. 
So, doon tayo sa cylinder C. So, 20 kilo nyo doon to. Tapos, meron tayong reaction sa point na to. Let's say, magaling tayo ng mga point. So, point 1, point 2, and point 3, point 4, point 5. So, this is R1. Tapos, ito naman yung ating R2. Ayan. So, ang angle ng ating R2 ay 50.48 with respect to x-axis. So, so pwede tayong makagawa rito ng ano? Ng force triangle. So, this is 20 kN. And this is our R1. And ito naman yung ating R2. Ang angle na to is 50.48. So, yan. Ah, yes. Ang mga gawa natin dito is obvious na, ano, na right triangle. So, kailangan natin gamitin yung ano, sign. Kasi this is opposite to 50 and this is the hypotenuse. R2 lang naman ang ano, kailangan natin dito. So, R2 is hypotenuse. No? So, sine of 50.48 degrees is equivalent to opposite na 20 over hypotenuse na R2. So, therefore, R2 is 20 over sine of 50.48. 25.93 kilo newton. So, pwede tayo magpunta ngayon sa ating cylinder B. Yan. Okay. So, gawin na natin siguro ng ano. Uh, Mula tayo maglagay ng circle. Gawin na natin concurrent for system. So, ito yung ating ano, no? point C to. Tapos, ito naman is point B. Tapos, ito yung ating 40 kN. Ito naman yung ating R3 which is yung pinapahanap sa number 1. Tapos, ito yung ating R2 na 25.93 kN. So, this is x-axis, y-axis. Ang angle ng R3 with respect to horizontal is 36.87. Tapos ito naman, with respect to horizontal, is 50.48 degrees. Since, isa lamang yung ating unknown na horizontal force na magagaling sa horizontal component ng R3, pwede na tayong mag-summation of forces horizontal. Okay? Ay, wait lang. Ah, may kulang pa pala. Meron pa pala tayo dito? Point. Ito, ito, ito pala. So, sabihin natin ito ay 0.6. So, meron pa pala tayong ano, R3. Ayan. May R3 pa pala tayo. Ah, R3 tuloy. R6. So, dalawa ang ating unknown na horizontal force. So, hindi tayo pwede mag-summation of forces. Horizontal dito. Pero, pwede tayo mag-summation of forces vertical. Kasi isa lang din naman yung unknown natin. Di ba? So, mag-summation of forces vertical na lang tayo. Is equivalent to zero. Upward is positive. So, R3 is positive kasi upward then sine of 36.87 degrees then minus 25.33 sorry that is 93 sine of 50.48 degrees minus 40 kN is equivalent to 0. So, makukuha natin yung ating R3. So, R3 sine of 36.87 minus 25.93 sine of uh, 50.48 minus 40 is equivalent to 0. Yeah. So, 101.84.
kilo newton. So, malapit sa 100 kilo newton. So, kung i-check natin yung ano, mga angle, gawin natin siguro itong ano, um, alpha A, yung 50.48, no? Ayan. Tapos yung 36.87, gawin natin alpha B. So, kung natin sila isa-isa. So, for uh, 50.48, that is R cosine of 7 over 11. So, alpha A, ayan. Then, yung isa naman is 36.87, arc cosine of 8 and 10. 8 over 10. So, ito yung itong alpha B. Yeah. So, ngayon, makukuha natin ng R2. That is uh, 20 over sine of alpha A. Ayan. Yeah. Okay. So, convert natin ito ng, ano, ng C. Or, store natin sa C. So, dito niyan is negative C sine of 50.48, that is alpha A, then minus 40. Then, transpose natin, multiply natin ng uh, negative 1. Okay, then 60 over sine of alpha B. So, mga kung sagot natin dyan is exactong 100. Ayan. Okay, so anyway, ang gamitin lang natin dito is yung 100 na rin. Kasi tingin ko, itong mga to is magagaling rin lang din sa 100 kN. So, for number 2, which of the following gives the reaction between the wall and the B? Okay, or cylinder B. So, under yun sa 0.6. So, that is R6. And may kita naman natin dito sa concurrent force system natin na ang ating R6 is nag-iisang unknown sa horizontal. So, pwede tayo mag summation of forces horizontal is equivalent to 0. To the right is positive. So, negative R6, then plus R3, na 100. Okay? Then, cosine of alpha B. Okay? Tapos, uh, plus 25.927, or that is, I don't know, alpha C, no? Then, cosine of alpha A is equivalent to 0. So, ang R R6 natin is, okay, so transpose na natin ng RC. So, ating R6 is, so this is 100 cosine of alpha B plus 25.927 cosine of alpha A. So, ang sagot is 96.5. Okay, kilo, newton. And upon checking doon sa ating reference, uh, I think nagkamari lang sila ng ano, input sa calculator. Okay, kasi nung check ko yung kanilang calculation, tama, uh, I mean, solution, tama naman, parehas dito, pero nagkamali lang sila sa pag-input. Then, check ko, ang lalabas talaga is 96 point something. So, check natin. So, ito yun. Ayun o. So, 96.5. So, parehas lang sa sagot natin na makukuha. Okay, so, correction na lang yun. Okay, number 3. Which of the following gives the reaction between floor and A? Ito kasi yung wall. Diba? Ito naman yung ating floor. So, ibig sabihin na kailangan natin makuha is yung R5. So, ganun ulit. Concurrent for system na lang ulit tayo. So, this is point A. Then, ito yung reaction 5. Tapos, ito naman yung reaction 4. Tapos, yung ating weight na 15 kilo newton. Tapos, yung ating R3. Ang R3 natin ay 100 kilo newton. Yan. So, ang ating 100 kilo newton is 36.87 degrees with respect to horizontal. And, kung yung flooring lang na, uh, or connection ng ano, floor and cylinder A ang pinukuha, Ibig sabihin, R5 lang. So, nag-iisang unknown saan? Sa vertical. Hindi ba? So, pwede na tayong mag-summation of forces. Vertical is equivalent to 0. Upward is positive. So, R5 minus 15 minus 100 sine of 36.87 degrees is equivalent to 0. 
So, makukuha na lang agad natin ang R5. This is negative 15 minus 100 sine of alpha D. Then, transpose natin. That is negative 1. Ayan. So, 75. Exacto. So, 75 kilo newton. So, yun yung sagot. Ayan. So, itong problem na to, medyo magiging tricky lang talaga or magiging mahirap kung hindi nyo magagamit yung 18 na to. Ilang, 8 meters yan. 18 meters. Tapos, kung hindi mo rin magagamit yung mga given na radius. Okay? So, once na hindi mo na siya magamit, hindi na natin kasi makukuha yung angle, hindi na natin makukuha yung mga forces. Kaya, kapag ganitong ano, problem ng mga cylinder, lalo na medyo latest pa o 2017, hindi ba? So, kailangan, una nyo tignan yung mga dimension na given. Ayan. Tapos, kung pwede nyo gamitin yung ano, angle, gamitin nyo yung angle. Pero kung sanay rin naman kayo ng slope, okay lang din. Okay? So, pwede rin naman ng slope dyan. Okay? So, ayan. Ganyan lang kasimple yung isolve yung ating situation number 32. Okay? So, again, if you enjoyed and learned from this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, this is our situation number 32 from C board exam, November 2017 for structural engineering and construction. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.